Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Bow River Bugger. The hook I have in the vise is a number 300. This is a size 10, 6 extra long streamer hook. This is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to start out by putting some weight on there. And the amount of weight and size is really up to you depending on how deep you want to fish it. I like to have a woolly bugger that's kind of heavy. I'm going to use some 25 thousandths lead wire. We're going to put the uh, lead wire, we're going to keep it mostly in the middle. Woolly buggers should actually be front heavy, but since this is going to have a muddler type head on it we want to keep the front section kind of open so that it will make it easier to spin the deer hair we're going to keep that mostly in the middle i'm going to use 140 denier thread because this is a little heavier for spinning the deer hair and the color really doesn't matter because once you spin the deer hair you shouldn't really see the thread color. I'm going to start it behind the eye and secure the lead wraps. Come back over the front once again. Then bring the thread back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. We're going to make a white one. So I have white marabou. And I'm going to take a nice amount of uh, feather marabou from the bottom of this. You want to just you want one the feathers to be mostly the same size. I'm just going to grab them all together and pull them off, and then I can trim off that excess, all of that stuff. I'm going to wrap it tie it on first. We want this tail to be about the length of the hook shank, maybe one and a half. So we're going to go ahead and secure that right there. Now I'm going to trim this so that it's just about the length of the lead wraps. So we can make some quick wraps going forward. And then we could wrap it down a little tighter once we get that all secured. You can see there's almost no lead wraps exposed at this point. Let's give it a back and forth a couple of times there. The amount of marabou you put in the tail is really up to you if you want it really big and bushy or you want it nice and slim. Wet my fingers a little bit to help control that marabou. I'm going to take some pearl crystal flash. Just three or four of them. I think there's actually five here so I'm going to go ahead and use all five of these. I'm going to use the side that's more open. I'm going to make them just about the length of the tail, maybe a little shorter. They don't have to be all of the same length. I'm going to wrap up the shank just a little bit. And this makes it easier to fold it over and then to tie it in on the same spot on the opposite side. Going to go ahead and trim them off the same length as the other side. Like I said, you don't have to have all the, of your crystal flash the same length, so I'm going to just nip away at a couple of them there. Just to get them different lengths. I'm going to take my body material, which is going to be white chenille. I'm going to 
pull off the end there just expose that little bit of thread and we're going to tie that in and it rolled to the other side but that's not a big deal I'm going to take my hackle on woolly buggers you can uh, it's really up to you what your preference is if you want a nice soft hackle soft hackles will give you more movement or breathing in the water stiffer hackles will push more water I like to have them softer and have the movement over the push I'm gonna tie this in by the tip and I prepared that tip there a little bit it's a nice uh, saddle hackle nice and long so I know that I'll have enough go ahead and tie that in secure that and bring that thread up to the front of the lead wraps and we'll take our chenille and wrap that this white one will be good where there's a lot of shad in the water we're gonna stop that just in front of those lead wraps and we want that front to remain open we'll go ahead and trim off the excess you can go ahead and pull the loose fibers after you cut it and secure it we'll take our hackle and we're going to wind this I'm going to give it a wrap at the rear and then I'm going to palmer this forward and I'm going to put a wrap right there in front of it tie that in and we can remove the excess now I'm going to take some deer hair and I have some brown deer hair here I have it in my hair stacker and I have about as much as would be a pencil width when you pull it all together it should be about the size of a pencil gonna hold that on there and we only want those that collar to be about halfway gonna give it one two and then we're gonna pull it we're going to take the push that forward or push that back just with our fingernails there And then we can move the thread in front of it and put a couple of wraps right there. Now when I wrap this, the tips didn't make a complete revolution. You can go ahead and put another clump in that open space but I just lined it up so the bottom would be less of the collar on the bottom there and push that tight back then we're gonna take another clump of uh, deer hair and you want the same amount you want about the size of a pencil and trim that off go ahead and remove any of the fuzz or loose ones you could even take your comb and brush the fuzz out of it and you get some out of it and I'm gonna hold that and I don't want the tips on this one so I'm gonna just remove them ahead of time I'm gonna hold it in the 
hand that I'm going to hold tie it in with so that'll be my left hand and I'm going to cut from between my fingers here and again just remove any of the loose ones I'm going to hold that right in front of our first bunch once twice and then we're going to let it go and let it spin take a couple extra wraps and then push that tight get your fingernails right in there if you have a hair pusher go ahead and push it back with your hair pusher push that tight on there I'm gonna hold everything and I'm gonna put a couple of wraps in front of it three or four wraps again I'm gonna push that to the rear just a little bit I want to expose that eye a little better there we got it exposed a little better I'm gonna take my whip finish and give that a whip finish when you whip finish with a muddler head it's hard not to grab a couple of the deer hairs and pull them forward just going to go ahead and get rid of that thread gonna put a little bit of head cement in there and you will get it in the eye of the hook so just go ahead and put it on there and let it soak in and it will get in the eye of the hook like I said we'll take our extra feather just laying around and run that through the eye I'm gonna take my bodkin needle and I'm going to stand it up and what I'm doing is helping to separate the collar from the part that I want to trim I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to uh, trim the head down. And here we have a Bow River bugger. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.